Good morning, welcome to Morning Review on Wednesday the 18th of May. This is Kim Watson speaking. So looking at Euro dollar first and uh, today we've already gone down to sort of double bottom territory um, into the monthly S1. Now it's a question really whether this can hold on, manage a bounce or it's going to really continue through. Uh, it does look relatively weak. There's no sort of sure, uh, there's a sort of shortish term divergency, very messy sort of look on the uh, four alleys here, but not really uh, in my book uh, much of a divergence. However, that's not to say uh, it could make a bit of a recovery, at least possibly back to the 6020s today that's from this sort of level. Um, it is quite messy, but if it starts pulling up, well, as I say, 60.21, possibly, maybe may a push further. It hasn't hit the daily pivot today, but it has got a lot of resistance before it, so we'll just have to see how that rides out. Okay, um, news-wise, I'm just looking. There's nothing significant there until the FOMC meeting minutes later. We'll talk about that later. Right, okay, cable. Uh, cable yesterday. Couldn't hang on to its gains, giving up even more at the moment. Uh, it basically just managed to double top yesterday. That was the early morning session and uh, sell off ever since then. Looking at the moment, well, if it can hold on to this current candle and start pushing up again, well, it's tested its 21, it's uh, 21 exponential there. Maybe, maybe it can push up to the daily pivot as a possibility. Um, so let's say looking slightly better maybe it has double bottomed as well let's just have a look at the four alleys what it's doing there that's no, fine um i mean it has got a, a, quite a lot of support just below it but i noticed the four alley 50 is just sort of roll is rolling over a little bit it'd be interesting to see how well it holds on to this this morning if it was to break this morning's lows i'd uh, definitely be bearish um and be looking uh, towards the s1 and maybe more but at the moment it does look uh, with this candle it's putting in a little bit more solid so and it has to got the daily pivot above us which was a good point um, dolly yen oh, well it's gone back into consolidation mode by looks of things it's uh, uh, yesterday couldn't hang on to its gains rolled over um, and it's since then well it's pushed back up towards those highs but there certainly seems to be supply up there as soon as it gets there um, and now it's rolled back a little bit now it's really a case this morning of whether it can actually get a wiggle on um, break this sort of uh, 60 minute up there's a bit of a trend on the sort of top of these candles here if it can push on through there well may, maybe it'll be back for its daily r1 at yesterday's highs but uh, it's put, so put a lower a lower low in effectively and I do wonder if it will roll. If it starts rolling, well, we could be back towards the absolute lows there again at some point. Aussie dollar, well, again, weakness prevailing. So, uh, I mean, generally the markets here, with the exception of the yen, which hasn't really moved that much, we're seeing uh, dollar, we uh, dollar strength even. Um, Aussie dollar selling off here. Um, Quite strongly through the Asian session here. It's already done most of a, a daily range through this point, and it's, I mean, it's probably not massively surprising it has. Uh, looks like it's may have just clipped. Nope, hasn't clipped the daily pivot, but uh, again, it's one of those that uh, may be a struggle to get back up there. It's not necessarily millions of points, it's just the very fact that it's got all the moving averages to contend with beforehand. Uh, but uh, there, there is the possibility if you see a good runner okay and finally um, the Canadian dollar continuing the dollar strength here is helping the Canadian dollar pushing up at the moment quite a mess when you look at some of these candles but so so many of the markets the consolidation or chop and looking at 60 minutes well oil slipping off a little bit because sorry this is the black line that you can see on all these uh, 60 minute charts um just rolling over all a little bit again this morning um and uh, well the canadian dollar just pushing up towards yesterday's highs uh, maybe if it's all keeps slipping off here we'll see a, a continued run up to the s1 
Again, we've got a daily pivot untouched, this time below, of course. Um, there, there is a rather steep trend line running across the lows here. Maybe if that's broken and oil starts picking up again, uh, we, we could see a rollover. A bit surprising we didn't lacked a bit of correlation unusually um, the, the price of oil coming down fine we expect that to be happening and correlated here but uh, it all was rallying here and the and the, uh, the Canadian dollar wasn't selling down so it shows probably a little bit more strength of the US dollar running through this market and through many of the other pairs Okay, so key news today, uh, well, for the UK, we've got the uh, jobs report out. The uh, um, average earnings is the most important part of that at the moment. Uh, so that's at 9.30. Um, but any surprises there, expecting claim and count change to be small, around about 4K. Um, that's And the unemployment figure is still coming around about 5.1. So... Uh, you see, it's, as I say, it's the inflationary aspect of that, which is the average earnings, uh, which it's expecting to come in 0.1 lower than last time. Aside of that, really, then it's uh, left to crude oil inventories at 3.30. That might give a bit of a kicker for the Canadian dollar. And then we've got the FOMC uh, meeting minutes at uh, 7 o'clock this evening, 1900 hours. So uh, quite a wait for anything really significant once we get past the uh, jobs report from the UK. Okay, um, just checking, no other speakers, nothing else, so uh, that's it. Hope you have a great one. Bye for now.